church brothers and sisters i just uh want to take a quick moment and share with you some things about temptation um i think sometimes you know i think there's a lot of people who um think wrongly about where that temptation comes from or don't quite understand where that temptation comes from sometimes you know we say that oh this person tempted me or this tempted me or god tempted me but that's one of the falses is that God does not tempt and um, you know sometimes we blame and we give the the enemy the devil too much credit as well that uh, you know that the devil tempted me the devil made me do it or <laughs> you hear that oftentimes you know and it's this it's just not true um, it's unbiblical and so I want to share a couple of scriptures uh, right now that uh, that deal with that and show us that uh, where that temptation truly comes from and I think that once we understand where that temptation truly um, comes from, where it originates, um, then we can truly um, start to um, uh, deal with the symptoms or where the symptoms are coming from. We can deal with the problem at the source. Um, when we start blaming other things or pointing fingers other directions, it's never going to be resolved. It's never going to be fixed because we're not attacking the problem um, where it starts. And uh, I think that it's very important that we understand that and we understand that we um, are the originators. And I'd like to share some scriptures. One is uh, from James 1, 13 through 15. It says, when tempted, no one should say, God is tempting me. Because God does not tempt. For God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he tempt anyone. And here's the answer. This next verse is the answer to where the temptation originates. And I think it's very important that we listen to this next scripture, um, uh, verse, sorry, that um, because it is where it originates. But each person is tempted when they are dragged away by their own evil desires and enticed. It is our own evil darkness and desires that drag us away and entice us and I believe that the enemy, the devil, will use those things because he knows what will, what will entice us. He knows what our, our evil desires are. And he will use those things to encourage the temptation into sin. Uh, but we have to understand that it originates from our own evil desires. Because, see, it, it's going to require a purification of the heart from the Lord Jesus Christ and our relationship with him to uh, purify and purge that chaff out of our hearts um, and I think that as we mature in Christ those things start to disappear but we first have to understand that that's where it's coming from uh, let's not give the devil too much credit you know he runs on credit um, Jesus paid the price Jesus defeated him so the only credit that the devil has is the credit that we extend to him and when we give him too much credit for the things that he's making us do we're extending him way too much credit. The fault really lies, first of all, in our hearts, and we have to have a pure heart. I want to continue in that uh, in James 1 13 through 15. It says, Then after desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin. And sin, when it is full grown, gives birth to death. So we really have to be careful. If we can stop where it's coming from, then we can stop the end result. God can only do that through us, and we have to really rely on Him. We can't do this on our own power. and That's stated everywhere in the Bible. We need Him to purify our hearts, so we got to come to Him. But we have to come to Him with wisdom and knowing what the problem is. And He can reveal that to us too if we pray for it. Another scripture I'd like to share really quick is James 1, 18-19. Uh, he chose to give us birth through the word of truth that we may that we might be a kind of first fruits in all he created. Isn't that awesome? This this scripture shows us what he has intended for us. He doesn't want us to stay there. He wants us to know where this sin and temptation is coming from. He'll allow these things to happen for our own growth and for our character building. And he promises to be there through it. But he chose us. He chose to give birth to us through the word of truth. It can only come through truth. 
that we might be a first fruit of all he created. Isn't that awesome? That we might be considered a first fruit of everything he created. That's what he has for us. That's what he intended for us. So um, I just think that that's an awesome, awesome reassurance that God doesn't desire for us to stay where we're at. He has much more in store for us, but we have to be um, aware of what's going on in our lives and we have to repent of the sin that's happening and we have to rely on Him to show us how to get out of it. And we have to understand that these temptations that Scripture is talking about comes from our own evil desires. If we understand that, we know that it's our heart that's at fault and that our heart that needs to be purified by the Word of God and by the relationship that we have with Him. It's so important and it's so freeing and that's why you know the apostle paul says it he has a clear conscience what freedom it would be to have a clear conscience don't you think well we can get there you know we mess up here and there but we don't have to live in the guilt because his mercy is greater <laughs> one more scripture before i leave you guys is in james 4 7 through 8 Submit yourselves then to God. That's the answer. So we need to submit to God in His truth. Here's another part of the answer is resist the devil. When the devil uses our own evil desires to tempt us into things that we know we shouldn't do, resist him. Resist him in the name of Jesus. Come to the Lord and ask the Lord for help to resist. When we resist, he will flee. And it says right there, it says, Submit yourselves then to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Come near to God, and he will come near to you. See, when we search for God, he's calling us all the time. He's knocking at our door. When we answer and we want to come near him, he will come near to us. Just like the scripture says, you deny me before men, and I will deny you before my father. It's the same way. When we seek to be close to him, He's, he will be close to us. He's just waiting for us. He's waiting for us to understand. So we just thank you, Lord Jesus, right now, Father God, and we ask that you just help us to, re, to uh, bring revelation to a heart in this subject, Father God, that, that we can recognize where temptation comes from and how to deal with it, Lord Jesus. And we're so grateful for what you have in store for us, Father God, that come to you and seek you out. Father, you say that you will be near, Lord Jesus. I ask that you be near to everyone. Anybody who's watching this, Father, I know we, we have all struggled with temptations. And we have all had questions, why? Why, Lord? Why? But we know your word says, and your word is the truth. Your word says that you did not tempt us. You may allow it to happen for a reason, to bring us closer to you. But you did not tempt us. It is our own evil desires that tempt us, Father God. And I ask that you help reveal that to us. Show us the way. And we just trust in you. And I see you touch each and every person that's watching this. And uh, just each and every person that's not watching this, Father, I ask that you call them unto you. Call them, touch their heart. Purify our hearts, Lord Jesus, so that we can be good representation of you and your truth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for watching this this uh, morning. And uh, just pray about it. And uh, self-evaluate. And know that it is our hearts that are leading us into this temptation. And the devil plays on it. But let's not give him credit. Let's give God the credit because he can purify our hearts. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.